the Realme number series has often been a subject of interest, with each release keenly awaited. With the Realme 11 5G now in the fray, I decided to deep dive into what the latest offering brings and whether it justifies the buzz it's generating. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan and do keep watching this video for full lowdown on this phone. And if by the end, you're nodding along with me, hit that like button and subscribe. The first thing that'll strike you about the Realme 11 5G is its slim design complemented what Realme calls the glory halo design. Hold it up to the light and you'll see this enchanting S-curve dance on its shimmering back panel. It's definitely a conversation starter. Then there's the round camera bump at the back. Well, it's not my cup of tea but beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? Holding the device feels like you're holding something that's well built. It's lightweight and every button and port seems to be exactly where you'd want it to be. Also, a shout out to Realme for keeping 3.5mm headphone jack alive and pairing it with an adequate loudspeaker. As for storage, you've got two options, 128GB or 256GB. And if that's not still enough, there's always the micro SD card slot waiting for you. Now, let's shift our focus to one of the most essential aspects of a smartphone, the display. The Realme 11 offers a vibrant 6.72 inch screen with an impressive FHD Plus resolution of 2400 by 1080. Colors on this display are vivid and true to life, ensuring that whether you are watching a video or browsing photos, the experience remains top notch. Additionally, outdoor visibility gets a thumbs up. I tested the phone in direct sunlight and the screen remained pleasantly readable. And yes, it gets 120Hz refresh rate, but here's where Realme ups the ant. The dynamic ultra smooth display, as Realme calls it, adjusts the refresh rate from 120Hz down to 45Hz based on what you are doing. This ensures not just a smoother user experience but also efficient battery usage. Diving into the heart of the Realme 11 5G, it's powered by the Dimensity 6100 Plus. Now, if you are a benchmark enthusiast, you might have noticed it's a bit behind competitors in the Geekbench 5 testing. This is largely its use of the older Cortex A76 cores rather than the updated Cortex A78. However, specs on paper and real-world performance can be two different stories. With my experience, the 8GB RAM ensures the phone chugs along smoothly, whether you're browsing, multitasking between apps or indulging in some media. For the gamers out there, titles like Call of Duty Mobile run smoothly. Although you might want to stick to medium graphic settings for the best experience. In terms of software, the Realme 11 runs on Realme UI 4.0, which is based on Android 13. The UI provides a clean and intuitive user experience with minimal bloatware and useful customization options. The device also offers a smooth and responsive fingerprint sensor and face unlock features for added security. There is some bloatware, but nothing too excessive, which is a refreshing change to see in a Realme phone. And most of the bloatware can easily be uninstalled. Coming to optics, the Realme 11 5G features a dual rear camera system with a 108 megapixel primary lens and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The photos captured with the main sensor are detailed and vibrant, but slightly oversaturated images in good lighting conditions. I even got nice results in low light situations and the night mode brightens up the frame. The 16 megapixel front camera delivers decent clarity and natural skin tones as well. Overall, the camera on the Realme 11 5G is capable enough in its price point, but it lacks versatility. Maybe an ultra wide lens could have been added here. Battery life is undoubtedly one of the strengths of the Realme 11 5G. It comes with a 5000mAh battery which reliably powers the phone through a full day on moderate usage. For those like me who often find themselves on their phone more frequently, you'll be pleasantly surprised by the backup it offers even on those heavier days. A highlight worth mentioning is the 67W SuperVoog fast charging. I put it to the test and managed to juice it up to about 50% in just under 20 minutes. That's not bad at all. Overall, the Realme 11 5G is an impressive smartphone at a starting price of 18,999. To me, it seems to be one of the most balanced smartphones in its price point. As a camera enthusiast, I feel there was a need for an ultra-wide camera. But the powerful processor, long-lasting battery and an otherwise decent enough camera makes it a good device worth considering. 